So a sergeant major and an MP are walking down the road one day, and the sergeant major sees a chaplain wearing headphones right down the street. And he looks over at the MP and says, hey, MP, I want you to go arrest that chaplain over there. And the MP is all excited. He's an E2, brand new to the game. He's going to arrest his first officer. So he runs over to the chaplain, turns him around, puts his hand behind his back, cuffs him up, starts reading him his rights. You, sir, have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. But then he freezes. Sergeant Major's looking at him. Wonder what the hell's going on, so it's getting upset. Hey, MP, what's the deal? Finish the arrest. And MP looks at him and goes, I can't, Sergeant Major. It's the chaplain's job to read the last rites. Now, you might have thought, and rightfully so, that that was the worst dad joke you have ever heard in your entire life. But you would be wrong, because it is not a joke. It is real life. A Sergeant Major on Bahrain had a U.S. Army National Guard Captain Chaplain arrested by the MPs for wearing headphones on post. If I'm lying, I'm dying. The whole story is Sergeant Major saw Captain Thomas over here. This is the lieutenant. He's been promoted since then. Good job, sir. Doing God's work. Saints be praised. Chaplain Thomas was out for a run and had his earbuds in, and Sergeant Major saw him, so I'd jump out of his vehicle and give him what for. Now, being in civilian attire, Sergeant Major didn't know who this guy was, so he starts giving him the third degree. Hey, soldier, how did you take those headphones out? You can't have them on this post. We're in garrison, but not, but kind of, but not. You can't have them on this post while you're doing PT out here, wandering about. I don't want you to get run over by a car as if. That's happened a million times, enough for us to have to stop it. I really, really, we're adults. Can we not wear headphones and run on the street? Unfortunately, this chaplain did not have his ID on him. Now, before we go any further, let me just point out that a National Guard chaplain officer has got a little bit of I don't give a shit swagger to him, right? It's a chaplain, first of all. Then an officer on top of that. Obviously, the two are usually intermingled. And a nasty girl. So you're just walking around not giving two flying fucks because you ain't gonna listen to nobody. Now, that could be taken as arrogance. And not arrogance from a chaplain, but by a... How do I put this lightly? A shitty scamming E4 specialist type. You know the ones. The ones that just are terminal E4s and don't give a shit about life and walk around their hand in their pockets and say, go ahead, yell at me, give me extra duty, I really couldn't give a shit. I'll just give you a fake name and walk away. I'll see you later, guy. Fling! Now I say this because the chaplain didn't have his ID on him and the sergeant major was irritated and want to know who this guy was. You can't be a captain, you're some specialist, or you're some dumb sergeant trying to give me shit. I'm not buying it. You think I won't call the MPs? Oh, I'll call them. Oh, I'll call them. Meanwhile, the chaplain's just sitting there not giving two shits in the wind because man, he can't possibly think that he's about to have the MPs drag him into their station house and have him sit there for a little while until they figure out who he is. He's just in his own little world like do 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 Jesus is cool. I'm in charge, this guy super mad about nothing. Ba ba da ba 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 my head jazz. But the unthinkable happened. The MPs showed up, put the chaplain in cuffs, stuffed him in the back of the paddy wagon and took him to their headquarters, where he sat for just a little while. But, had to have his unit come pick him up. That's right, they called mom and dad back at the aviation unit that the chaplain is attached to and said, you gotta pick up your chaplain. He's gone crazy. This man of God is wearing his headphones all over the post. Now I can only imagine how that phone call went. Bring, ring, bring, 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 ring. I've got this, guys. Lieutenant Colonel So-and-so, Army National Guard, Aviation Wing, how can I assist you? Hey man, you need to pick up your chaplain. He done fucked up. Thomas? Captain Thomas? 
is a bad man? I can't believe it. Dear God, what has he done? Has he been bringing prostitutes on base? Getting lower enlisted men drunk and taking nude photos of them? Has he become a Middle Eastern coyote and began smuggling small children to the United States? Worse, sir. He wore his earbuds while running out post. I can't even say it without laughing. This story has gained traction in every military news outlet, the Army Times, Task and Purpose, WTF Army Moments, and it's hard not to see why. Everybody's heard of the stereotypes of a Sergeant Major getting some bug up his ass about some ridiculous rule. Can't roll your sleeves, it looks unprofessional. Stay off my grass. Don't wear earbuds, which is a real one that I've heard on multiple occasions on post while you're running, which I hate. I know there's more. Write them in the comments. I, I want to read the dumbest ones so bad because I know there's dumb ones. I know there's ones that are so stupid that I just can't think of right now that some of you are living. Some of you are living that hell right now, and I wish you to share it with me. I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time and side with the sergeant major on this. <gasps> I know, but bear with me. You're breaking a rule, chap. Take the earbuds out. We all can't play fun reindeer games. Whatever, get yelled at, walk away, put them back in, sure, whatever. But now, that little stupid rule that you broke got overshadowed by the fact that now this dude don't know who you are. You got no military ID on you. I can't think of any base I've walked on without my military ID on me at all times. Just beaten into me by drill sergeants in my leadership. You're gonna need your CAC. Get your CAC card. And you shouldn't say CAC card because the last scene CAC is card already. So now you got rule break number one and uh, rule break number two. And you are in the Middle East where some shady shenanigans surely do happen. So yeah, Sergeant Major's gonna go listen. I don't know who you are. I've never seen you before in my life well, because you're a nasty girl and you're not actually under me. And we're gonna hang out here until I can figure out who the fuck you are. And side note, he probably was a little jazzed to try and hopefully get like some sleeper cell terrorist that they didn't know about yet. Ah, I got the whitest guy on Bahrain and he was the terrorist because I checked all the boxes and I nitpicked the littlest of things. Huzzah, carry me upon your shoulders as Sergeant Major of the Universe. And there you have it. Real life can be so ridiculous, you'd think it was fiction. And on that bombshell, I'll have you know that I in my glorious wisdom after having to spend two grand on getting a peach pit out of my dog's ass, and no, that's not a joke, have decided to make a 15% off code on everything in angrycops.com, including this fantastic new dirtbag private shirt. All you have to do is use knife hand as your code for 15% off. I really like how there's a rip it. God, that joke is horrible. That's so bad. That's the worst joke I've ever made up in my entire life. <clears throat> I knew that battery's gonna fucking die. I saw it. Half-life my ass. Fucking jizzy camera. Battery. <laughs>